for some reason, I think I skipped a weigh-in, like, video-wise. So, my dates are off. So, that's why I skipped a day. I don't really know what day I skipped, but I know it's day 24 today, which is March 28th. So, I'm just trying to explain why the date is, like, messed up. If you were to look at my YouTube channel, it skips day 22, I think. But... It's not, I didn't actually skip it. Like, I actually recorded it. I just don't know where that clip went. I think it was, like, some videos ago. I think I lost track when I got back. Because there was this one clip that I left out. It was, like, a random, like, uh, it was, like, a random clip of me weighing myself. I didn't know what day it was, so I just deleted it. So, I'm pretty sure that's where I messed up. But anyways, I'm just trying to explain myself. Sit back, enjoy the video, and I'll talk to you guys in a moment. Okay, so it is 4.25, and I'm about to go to the gym, hit legs. So I'm going to take you guys through the workout and put in the description what we're doing. Um, two of my teammates are joining me, so it's going to be probably fairly long of a workout. But I'll condense it, put music in the background or something. So I'll talk to you guys there. So the gym is, like, completely crowded. Everything's taken, like, literally everything. So we're at this track, um, this is McNeese track. So what we're gonna do is like essentially lunge the curves. Well, what if we lunge the straights? That would make more sense. The long ones? No, maybe not. Okay, we're gonna lunge the curves, <laughs> run the straights, shuffle the curves, like like basketball shuffle, and then run the straights. I don't know how many times we're gonna do it, but we're gonna improvise. That's gonna be the workout for today. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't really show you because I can't just set up a tripod. So we ended up getting to come to the gym. We literally only had like these three machines available available for legs. So we did a tri set. So it was me, Alex, and Caitlin, two of my teammates. We did leg extensions. Then the next thing we did was hamstring curls and then glute extensions on like a machine kickback thing. And we did a tri-set, like I said, we did five sets of 10, okay, so I did five sets of 12 reps on the extension and curls, and then I did 10 reps on each side for the glute kicks. And so that's what you see here. So we just all picked a machine. So I started out on leg extension, moved to hamstring curl, moved to glute extension. And then, yeah, so they all started on the other machines and then we would just switch and then we, at the end we would just take one big rest so it was really good it worked out pretty easily because these machines are back to back to back as you can see in this clip we're all just doing our thing so i just wanted to let you guys know what we did and we decided to run a mile instead of doing the lunges because it was taking entirely too long so that's what we did and so we got some cardio before and i'll talk to you guys in just a moment sorry i'm sorry bugging <laughs> you always interrupt my conversation so we uh we got done working out, we improvised with them. It was really good actually, really good like sweat session. Um, I don't think I could do that every freaking leg day. But Caitlin and I were talking, we could do it like every upper body day probably. <laughs> so I'm um, gonna go home, drop these off, pe drop these people off, and then I'll talk to you there. These burdens. So I just got home and I got a package in earlier, so I thought I would share what I got. So I got a task cam. Um, audio recorder this is for weddings and stuff like that so the screw thing is here so it doesn't come unplugged in the middle of the ceremony like that happened to me my first wedding no my second wedding lost all the audio for the groom luckily I have one on the officiant got the groom's audio from there whatever so I got this in the mail um just a random you know thing I wanted to share I'm about to eat a post-workout snack and I'm going to have two slices of this Sara Lee wheat bread with um, one tablespoon, one tablespoon of this natural Jif creamy peanut butter. Um, I really like having this together as a post-workout snack, and it's really good fats, really good carbs, and it's just really good. So that's what I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna go shower, and then I'm gonna make a possible, of course. And I have to do a lot of schoolwork tonight. So I will be talking to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I get a lower weigh-in. Um, so hopefully my bloating has gone down from this weekend. And just like it being that time of the month and stuff like that. 
So I'm hoping to be in 125 something tomorrow. So I guess we'll see and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Morning guys, I am freaking exhausted. Um, I stayed up late with Ashlyn last night. We stayed up till like three, just talking and stuff. So I'm pretty tired, but it's 9.42. And for breakfast, I'm going to have this Jimmy Dean Delight um, yogurt and strawberries. So, fairly big breakfast, but I wanted something that's going to fill me up. I'm going to the golf course soon to play 18 holes, and I'm tired of lacking energy there. So, um, I'm going to eat more for breakfast, and then um, that's my plan. So, I'll show you guys what it looks like. I completely forgot to show you because I ate the strawberries so fast. 100 grams of strawberries. Uh, egg white delight jimmy dean muffin and greek yogurt okay, so for a snack i'm having a serving of this protein cereal three ounces of fat-free milk and 100 grams of strawberries i've almost finished those off and i only had them like a day and a half two days so my okay so it's five o'clock 455 close enough and one of our teammates birthday birthdays is thursday so we're going to texas red house tonight but I'm not going to eat there because I don't want to screw up my weigh-ins because I keep going out to eat and like my sodium levels keep being high. So I'm just going to get Chick-fil-A and then bring it into Texas Roadhouse and eat there and not eat any other rolls and stuff like that. Um, I just don't want their stuff that's cooked in a lot of butter and sodium to spike my like levels and then me not hitting. Like I want a low weigh-in. So... I'm going to sacrifice, and this is going to be for snack, and then I'm going to have Chick-fil-A um, pretty soon, like in an hour. This is 100 grams of strawberries and a serving in three ounces, three and a half ounces of milk. Okay, so we're on the way to Texas Roadhouse, or Chick-fil-A first. Going to get a chicken sandwich with a large fruit cup, so I'll show you, and I'll talk to you guys there. Bless you. Can I get a number one, a chicken, chicken sandwich? Um, not the meal, just the entree with a large fruit cup. Uh, to go. So the wait for Chick-fil-A took like a long time. And so the guy's like, oh, I'm sorry for the wait. I put two cookies in there. How is that supposed to help me at all? Like what? That's such a great reward. I can't even use it. Like I can't even eat them. So. Anyways, I got my food. I'm gonna take it in the Texas Road House and then I'll talk to you later. She was like, Do you want us to have a party for her? Yes. Happy birthday. Yay. Successfully went to Texas Road House, didn't eat one roll. So that is going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make good decisions at Texas Roadhouse and wherever you go if you are doing this cut with me. And with Christian, hopefully I hit a new low weigh-in. I really want to break under 125. Um, John said that when I get to 124, I get a refeed day. So that is the goal. I want a refeed day so bad. And I need to do more cardio. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.